we've got the machine now fully assembled. Uh, to do that, obviously, we've put all the wiring in, all the mechanics in, the springs, the whole thing is set up. And of course, um, we've done the electrical tests and the playback, electrical tests on the record, um, and uh, essentially made sure that everything's uh, collect, uh, correctly polarized. In other words, made sure the positive goes to positive and negative goes to negative. Very clear. We're just making sure that the thing is ready because this is going to be the first time we power this machine up. So of course we use the normal power supply. It has two amp fuses in it as well so therefore it does protect it up to a point. So here we go, we just plug this guy in here and right now what we're going to be trying to do is with a screwdriver and with a small allen wrench we'll be adjusting the actual tensiometers to get them at their zero point. So essentially the first thing we'll be doing is checking that. So how do we do that? We turn that up upside down. So this will be the first time we power this machine on. And of course, when we do that, you see the lights go on, you see metaxas and sins. All right, so this is the situation. Now if you press stop, you'll see now that this tensiometer says 2.56, this one says 1.84. They should be 1.02 to 1.04, something around there. So to do that, we spin it on its side. And so this one here, which is 1.841, basically what we're doing is the actual pot itself, we're going back, we're just turning that until it gets to 1.05 here, it's 1. Point, oops, a bit too, 1.03, that's about as good as we need it to be. We make sure that the actual, um, the actual uh, part is sitting nice and flat. And then we just tighten the grub screws on the side, make sure it's 1.03 still. So it's still holding that. No, it's not holding that. So basically I've got to just get this to screw in. Right, so now it's down to 1.97. So basically all we're doing is just adjusting this to get 1.036. It's about fine. So once we've got this. 1.02 is even better. Then we just tighten one of these side screws here. So it's 1.021. And then if we pull this out a bit, we can tighten the other side. So basically what we're doing now is setting the tensiometers to make sure that they're at the correct position and they're at a good position. So now, so that's 1.023 going to 1.744, which is fine. That's perfect. Okay, so now we do exactly the same on the other side, which is 2.562, and we simply turn this until we get to one point. There we go. Doesn't matter which way you turn it, of course. So it just goes to 1.05, 1.07, 1.04. Just try and make them in 1.025. Make them again if you can get them as close as possible to each other. That's always a good idea. So now we tighten this one up too. And make sure the top of the actual part is level with the um, top of the pot. And so all we're really doing here is just tightening the um, grub screws holding the pots into their frame. Basically what we've done is tighten this, this, this and this. So obviously now, as you can see all the lights are on, everything's flashing, which is good. And the next step is we actually have to get the motors to be happy. But first, before we do that, so now we're looking at the top, it's 1.024, 1.024 and going up to 1.74, 1.72, perfect. Okay. And if we press play, and then we just move this a bit, you see everything's working. It's turning, the rollers are turning, so the cap stands are turning. So that's fine. That's off, yep. So that's all working. Rewind the same. Fast forward, the same. So there are your basic tests. And stop. We're back to that. Point 1.021 and 1.022. So this machine is now ready for 
for me now to do the, t the tuning for these two and these two motors. Okay, and we turn it off. So we know at least now it's working.